it's actually quite hard to draw detail that looks like anything. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And recently online I've seen a few people and a few creators and stuff making these very kind of whimsical fantasy maps using rice. And I know it sounds kind of like weird and it's not literally making it with the rice but you use rice as a part of it. It's very interesting, very random and I can imagine doing something like this would be quite fun if you're making like a brand new computer game or you're making maps for like, what's that thing called? Not dragons and dungeons. What's that? What's that? game called Dungeons and Dragons. I was close, I just got it the wrong way around. Yeah, like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. That kind of thing, like just very fantasy, RPG. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to give it a go. I want to try it myself and I want to make my own cool, fun, random rice map. So to start this off, I obviously wanted some antique, rustic looking paper to draw my map onto. So I just took some regular white A3 sheets of paper and tore it up, ripped the edges off, made it look a little bit distressed and old. Also, I'm doing three of these just in case I like one better than the other but I don't think I'm gonna make three maps today unless I get like really into it and then I might I might just go crazy ah! but once I had my torn bits of paper I decided to wash a very strong mixture of tea over the top of them and I'm pretty sure we're familiar with kind of tea staining paper and stuff I'm sure we all did it at like primary school and created like old looking papers and stuff like that and anyway I've got them here and how fun do they look which one shall I use I don't know I'm thinking I like this one this one looks like really the kind of dirty so then to get the basics of your map and what it's kind of going to look like you're going to get some rice and you're supposed to be like super random with it so you're going to get some in your hand and then just kind of chuck it down and see what happens okay well add a bit more i'm not going to look actually because i feel like that disrupts things okay i think we might have our map i know it doesn't it doesn't look like anything but it's going to and as you can see you've got like i'm going to zoom you in a bit because you can't even see that so obviously we've got these bits of rice here and the idea is to draw around like the big bits to create our map and obviously you can make this as detailed or as non-detailed as you want it's up to you just to give you like a rough kind of outline but it's very random i think it's quite fun actually i haven't even finished yet and i'm already really enjoying myself <laughs> The thing is, how devastated would you be? I was just thinking as I was doing it, if you were in the middle of doing this and like you knocked yourself and it all went all over the place. I hope I haven't jinxed myself there, but I was just thinking as I was doing it, I would be mortified. <laughs> Okay, so then we have kind of the main landmass, if you will, of our map, which I think is something quite cool. And then what you can do, obviously we can see like a void here. So we're just gonna go around the rice along here. And that might be some sort of lake or something. How cool is that? Looks like something's happening there too. And here. Looks like another lake is happening over here. Oh my God, I can totally get into this, you know. I'm already feeling like there's a story happening and I can envision exploring this map in like a computer game or something than all, just in some sort of other like fantasy realm. You sad, sad wanker. Okay, so I've got all the kind of inside bit done, I think. And then all these bits of rice that are on the outside, these could be like fun little islands, couldn't they? <laughs> okay, I think I'm happy with that. So now that you've drawn around all your rice, you just tip the rice off. And there we have like a start of our map. How cool is that? And that's all like totally random, but you can kind of see how just, I don't know, how like unique it is. It's proper fun. Like, I don't know, I don't know whether you get excited by this, but I get really excited by this. I feel like some sort of like story's happening. Maybe it's because like I'm quite into computer games and like RPG games and stuff that things like this do really, really just interest us. I'm sorry if this isn't the kind of thing you're interested in, but I'm very excited. Okay. But now we can kind of add some extra details. If we think about, obviously, this is the water line going around. We can just add like a little dotted line. It's all about just doing basically what you want to do now and just kind of adding details and stuff. Obviously, I've only started this, but you could really, really get into some like proper detail. I have seen some people do really basic kind of designs and maps and stuff. And then I've seen other people really add so much detail. I don't think I'm going to make more than one, although I am really enjoying it. But I think I do want to add quite a lot of detail to this 
this one because I feel like it's starting to come to life. But you could always imagine like if you were a computer game designer or whatever and you were planning an open world area for some sort of exploration or something and you didn't want it to kind of look very structured. If you did something like this and just chucked some rice down on a map then all of a sudden you've got like these random islands and random kind of lakes and stuff and it just feels more organic and natural doesn't it rather than kind of forced. Okay, so I've finished that bit. So there we go, just even like a little bit more detail and it's starting to come to life, oh my God. And now I need to figure out where kind of I want things and stuff. I do want to add a compass. I don't know what a compass looks like though. I was looking at one like that. I think that might be a little bit too, bit too difficult for us. I think I'm gonna have to do something like that though, cause that's what you need, don't you? I need something circle to draw around. I can't freehand a circle, I know I can't. What have I got? What have I got? Oh, I've just thought I've got my Vaseline lid. Obviously, if you're really worried that you're gonna make mistakes and stuff, you can do this in pencil and go back round it. Uh, I like to live dangerously, you see. They have already made a mistake because it needs to go through here. I'm gonna have the line, but never mind. <laughs> Okay, surprisingly, I don't think that looks too bad. Look at my little compass. How cute is that? Oh, and then everyone knows where they're going. Where are we? Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out what kind of map I want this to be. Do I want it to be like a very historic kind of map? Is there like proper civilization here or not? I think there is. I think I want like settlements. I'm thinking up in the northeast, we'll have like a little camp of people. And obviously it'll be cold up here, won't it? Because up north's chilly. Butter. Butter. <laughs> How am I gonna draw snow? I'm just wondering, like maybe this could be more of like a wilderness bit up at the top. Well, it doesn't really need to be perfect, does it? So I suppose you could do whatever you want. Just don't know how to symbolize that it's very cold up here. Oh, maybe it's like they do like wavy lines, don't they, for like air. And we'll do some like little dots to symbolize snow. And then we can maybe have like an iceberg or something. <laughs> I don't know how to draw an iceberg, that's the problem. <laughs> I think that kind of looks like a snowy area, but also it doesn't really. I think you would have to add colour in order to symbolise snow and like cold. It's very hard to do it in like just pen. I don't know what else I would draw unless I drew like a snowman. Right, and then these little areas, what can they be? They can just be like a little bit of vegetation on them and stuff. Nothing too exciting, just very nondescript islands. <laughs> It's actually quite hard to draw detail that looks like anything. Maybe it's my drawing style. I feel like I have a very specific way of drawing and it doesn't make any sense. So this is obviously going to be waves. All around here is just kind of rough waters. You don't really want to go sailing up here. I'm struggling to actually fill the map with things of like interest. I'm thinking like a, a broken down ship, a broken down ship, a shipwreck, no broken down ship, could go here. So if we do kind of the waves, then this could be somewhere that you want to to explore like a shipwreck. Can I draw a shipwreck? We'll soon find out. I will preface this by saying I'm not a particularly great draw mind. I'm trying. <laughs> I think that kind of looks like a shipwreck. I tell you what our map needs. It needs a mountain range, but I don't know how to draw one. Mountain range. Because I feel like they have specific ways of drawing things on a map to make it look like what it's supposed to look like. See, that's what I'm thinking. Like, it looks like that, doesn't it? That's what I need to kind of create. Some Something like that anyway. I'm going to try to. <laughs> I feel like that, it almost looks like a mountain range, but not really. It's very hard to do. Does that look like mountains? No. It kind of does. It actually, you know what, I think I'll get away with this. And then possibly there might be like a trail that connects this coast, but you need to go around here. <laughs> So they're two like interlinked areas and they've connected by road, but there's the mountains separating them. Okay, I'm getting there. I didn't realize how long it would take actually to like make a map. You get really into it, but now I feel like a bit lost off. Like, look at this massive area. I've got like a shipwreck down here. I've got two settlements here that are connected by a road, divided by a mountain. I've got like the cold wintry north, but there's a little settlement happening up there. I feel like there needs to be some sort of natural wonder. Maybe it's like a giant tree. <laughs> And 
I'm thinking there should be a settlement down south somewhere. And this can be like a very beachy community. And maybe we'll have like a little boat here. Like a couple of little boats off the island. They're a bit more explorative. Is that a word? I don't know. Of a community. And maybe they have something to do with the shipwreck. I don't know. But see, it's all coming together. We could even draw like a haunted manor kind of thing here. Like a weird mystery building. The thing is, this is where I'm up to. Now I don't know what to add to this. What else is on a map? There's just a giant emptiness in the middle. What could that be? There's a lot of islands as well. What are all these islands doing? <gasps> a volcano. We haven't got a volcano. <laughs> I want to draw a skull and crossbones. How do I do that? I'm thinking one of these islands are pretty deadly. This doesn't look like a skull and crossbones at all, but that's fine. That's supposed to be a skull and crossbones, but just you'll have to use your imagination. But we'll put some little graves and like little crosses along here to make it even spookier. It's like a deathly island. You don't want to go along here. I'm thinking in the middle I could do... Oh, actually I could do a cave. You know what? I don't know what else I want to add. I feel like I might just ruin it if I add anything else. Maybe this could just be like meadow, grassland. Okay, I feel like I'm happy with that. I don't want to add too much, mainly because I don't know what else to add. But I've really enjoyed that. I feel like I got a bit too carried away. I just feel like I got a bit lost with my map. Because you think about perspective. Look, like, look at this. Where do we even start? This place looks huge. Like, if we're exploring, like, the mountainous region there with the two kind of communities. What, what's this? Oh, this is, like, a caved area with some grass. Then we've got, like, the volcano and the volcanic islands. We've got, like, a very coastal community here who are, like, very beachy and, like, the boats and stuff and the explore the sea. We've got a massive shipwreck here. Some weird kind of house here. Obviously some sort of like deathly island. The cold arctic community up at the top there who are very like chilly. We've got a very big wooded forest area with a giant weird tree there. We've got like a cave area. Some sort of treasure happening. Some more like little pockets of communities and woods and stuff. And I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what I drew there. But how fun is that? Do we want to go explore? And then obviously you can annotate it and stuff and you can draw thingies but I, I feel like I'm running out of room. I got really carried away. I think if I was to do another one, I would like to add a little bit of colour just to help it a little bit. I find it a bit too hard with just black. Anyway, that just about does it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know whether you'll be making your own little rice map. I would highly recommend it. I really would. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Oh, I've just thought as well, that looks kind of like a skull island too, doesn't it? That was accidental. Look at that bit. Doesn't it look like eyes and nose and then there could be some sort of mouth there? I can imagine as well, proper clever people who are good with like Photoshop and digital art, they could easily start this and then go into the computer and really kind of flesh it out, even animated and stuff. But I'm not, I'm not that intelligent. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video. I tell you what, my back is absolutely killing. Just from, how how long have I been drawn for? About an hour. An hour of drawing, just like hunching over and my neck is killing us. Oh, why do I have to age for? It's not fair. I remember when I was younger, not that I'm like old, but when I was younger, I used to just be, I used to have so much stamina. Now I don't have any. It doesn't board well for the future years, does it? <laughs>